Hello friends, myself Dr. Madhuri Shrinivas, your Dermatology faculty in Cerebellum Academy app and this is the today's previous year question in Dermatology. A farmer has a trauma history in the lower limb following which a cauliflower like growth developed on that side. On histopath, copper penny bodies are seen and here you can see the images of the cauliflower like growth and also the copper penny bodies and if you have marked option A, chromoblastomycosis as the answer, you are absolutely correct. So, please remember friends, subcutaneous mycosis is a very very important topic. So, you must know few points about each of them. So, coming to the first one, chromoblastomycosis. It is also called as verrucous dermatitis and it is produced by pigmented or dermatitious fungi which are Fonsicia pedrosoi, Fonsicia compactum and Fiolophora verrucosum. The next subcutaneous mycosis is sporotrichosis which is produced by sporotric shinki. And this is also called as Rose Gardner's disease. And here we can see very peculiar sporotrichoid pattern that is linear pattern of nodular ulcerative lesions in a lymphatic distribution. And we can see asteroid bodies on histopathological examination. And the third subcutaneous mycosis is mycetoma, which is going to have a triad of granules, sinuses and tumefaction. Tumefaction is swelling, which these three can be remembered with the help of this trick GST. So, please do like the video if this was helpful. Thank you so much.